like some triplets. Whoa. There's a guy named Nick, a.k.a. Lefty Lucy. He recommends this band. This guy's kind of juicy. I don't even... Okay, yes. Nick, this is for you. Every Sleep Token song we do is for you because you're, like, the best. Um, This is called The Love You Want. It's by Sleep Token. My name is David Morgan. This is The Music Shed reaction series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, leave comments, buy a t-shirt, and we're sponsored by Korg. I got to shout them out because they're amazing. And um, Sleep Token, a band that uh, we did one song called Jaws, and they're very interesting. They're mysterious because you don't know their names. You, You don't know what they look like. They're just like, that's a cool thing. I like that. A um, lot of requests for this song, so let's get right down to it. You lie and answer, but on your own continuum. Now keep the freak so tall to a careful minimum. So the first thing I'll say, this singer does not sound like anyone I've ever heard before. Everyone has their influences. You have to. To be able to come out and sound so original... Not many people have a voice that when you hear one note, you just know it's them. No, that's not true. When we get used to singers, of course we know it's them. But this guy has just a very original, unique sound. I'll find a different harbor to lay my anchor in. See how the vocals were right up the middle for the first little part of the song, and then everything spreads out. The background vocals, the background vocals, they've got more panned left and right. His lead's still up the middle, and we have a nice little chord progression here. Played with like some kind of synth that's been messed with. F minor, F minor over E flat, and then D flat major seven. They're keeping that note that I love, the very longing note of the major seventh. I love that note. It's such a, it's a note that when it's in a chord, it's a color that makes me long for something that I don't necessarily know what it is. It gives me that feeling. God, I love music. Still full of the love you are Still waking up beneath it all And I'm still full of the love you are I like that drum fill. Like some triplets. Whoa. Really nice. Very tasteful. And there's a piano that came in. Hello. These guys for sure. Something's weird with my headphones. Maybe I have wax in my ear. They, These guys for sure have some kind of like a jazz 
fusion-y kind of influence. I can tell by the way they're kind of, they're not playing in a in a more like pop rock way. There's There's some... There's something aesthetically that's drawing me to hear this more jazz influence, if you will. I like how they made that change right there. They went from the chord progression, which they were playing, and they could have stayed there, but they went from F minor to the two chord of the D flat major, seven, to the five chord, to the one chord, in a very, and it wasn't like, it wasn't pop, poppy, it was those jazz colors of, of the ninth and the seventh, and the, the 13th, the 9th, and then the major 7. I don't know if they had a 9 in there, but it sounded like something that you play in jazz. And they went. Very cool, and they only do it once. Very interesting. They've got also, sorry I'm pausing too much, they have um, hooks going on there, you da, 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 little melodies in there that they're throwing in. I don't know if they were written before the recording or just during when they were tracking it, but they're, they're all these little tasteful nuggets that I'm going to remember later and I'm going to sing them later in my head and it's going to give me the feeling like I'm back here. Very interesting band. Nick, you're on to something, dude. Very dynamic, this band. They put, it seems like they put a lot into the th thought of when they're done writing the song, what kind of journey can we take to tell the story as well as we can arrangement-wise, instrumentation-wise? When, when do things come in? When do they drop out? What kind of sounds are we going to use? What are, our, what are our dynamics? And then a lot of thought into the music video, this beautifully shot, very dark video with, with amazing dancers and very cool. Great drummer. Oh, 
Liverpool synth sound. I like songs where I don't get it all right away. I like that it's a little bit of a mystery, and it takes sometimes many, many listens to get to what I think the meaning is. If I were to listen to that song on its own, I don't think that I would put it with that video. So there's something there that I'm not getting, and I like that. I like not knowing. I don't I don't need to know. Um, what a band. What a cool band with their own sound. The vocalist, like I said before, really has a unique sound. I thought the drummer played some really great fills, interesting parts. And uh, Sleep Token, I'm so glad they're on my radar. Yeah, yeah. I'm having a hard time talking today. It's a problem if you're going to do a you know, reaction. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And have a musical day. Buy a t-shirt and buy a Korg keyboard. Right now, go buy those things, okay? Throw down some money. Have a musical day. And Lefty Lucy, are you happy, please? <laughs>